So today I went to Starbucks and I got the berry sangria drink and it's really good. So if you want to try something new, this is great. Okay, let's start the video. Hey guys, so this video is going to be my August favorites because it is now September and I just like doing favorites videos. Also, I never did a July favorites video. I just never got around to doing it. So there are like two things in here that I want to mention before I start with my August favorites and just two things that I really loved in July that I just really want to share. So the first thing is actually a book and that book is Tony Bakes by Tony Burr, the YouTuber. I'm sure all of you guys watching have heard of her and if you have seen my London haul, if you haven't, I'll leave a link down below. You can go watch it. I've only made one thing so far from here but I have two more things bookmarked that I will be making pretty soon. I just, I just really love it. I think all the recipes in here look so good and I love to bake and so I cannot wait to use this a lot more. So the next thing that I'm going to talk about is also something that I kind of discovered from my trip to London is the brand Pots & Co, specifically the chocolate orange pot. When I was on my way home, um, I flew British Airways both ways and on the way home gave us dinner and the dessert with the dinner was a little mini chocolate orange pot and I absolutely love the combination of chocolate and orange. Guys, this is so good. <laughs> like these are so good. I heard about them because Zoe and Alfie, Lola, Huang's blog, they have actually mentioned it in their vlog in their vlogs before and so I've heard of it but I never tried it and I completely like didn't even think to go into Tesco and just buy one and try it while I was there. It's kind of like a chocolate mousse but like a little thicker. I guess that's the best way I can describe it for anybody who's not from England or who hasn't had or seen it. It is so good and I really, really wish that we could get them here, but unfortunately, we can't. <laughs> Nobody sells them unless, I don't know, unless there's some like random British store that I don't know of that actually sells it. You can't get it here in America and I'm really sad about it and uh, yeah, America just needs to get just get it together and get these British things because I miss them so much. So that is it for July favorites that I didn't get to talk about in the month of July. These are my August favorites. I'm gonna start with beauty things first and all my stuff is around here so that's why I'm looking down. <laughs> but the first thing I'm gonna talk about are, yes, another British thing, but these I bought here and they are the Boots Number no. 7 Beautiful Skin Quick Thinking Wipes. If you guys didn't know, Boots is a drugstore in the UK and their brand is number seven. Walgreens and Boots kind of teamed up and now here in America, Walgreens sells number seven products. I needed new like face wipes and I really love this brand. They have sold their things in Target before. Um, I think now they're fading out of Target, at least that's what the woman at Walgreens told us because Walgreens now has the rights to all the number seven things. I just, I needed new face wipes and I usually use the Neutrogena, the grapefruit ones, but I was like, you know, I like this brand, why not? They're hypoallergenic, they're for all skin types and supposedly it removes even waterproof mascara. I haven't tried that because I don't wear mascara. When I use them, I don't even have to wash my face after. I still wash my face, but there are some times when I just want to take off my makeup and it's the middle of the day and I don't want to wash my face right away. I just use this, wipe my face with a towel and I'm good. So I really like these. As you can see, I've used a lot. The packet was really big. There's 30 wipes in here and they have a double pack too, which is cheaper than just buying singles but of course since i haven't tried them i only bought the one but yeah i really like them and i think they're great and i will be repurchasing these so the next item is again from the number seven line and it is their beautiful eyebrow sculpting pencil and i just kind of got on this kick of I need to do my eyebrows, I need to do something to my eyebrows. I started using one product which I'm going to show next but then I was like you know what I want to use a pencil and so I found this from the number seven collection and I was like I, I mean I'll try it. I love number seven, I trust their brand, great products and I really like it. I just I don't, I don't know what to say about it. It's just an eyebrow pencil. It has a little spoolie on the end of it and on this side it's the actual pencil. I got this towards the end of August so I have only been using it for a little while, but 
I like it enough to put it in my favorite. So the next item is again eyebrow thing and yes I did buy it in July but I mostly used it in August and it is the Tanya Burke Cosmetics Perfect Brow Kit. Yeah, if you watch my London haul, this was in it and I just, I really liked it. Yeah, I talked about it more in my London haul so leave a link down below again and go watch it. It just has, you know, three eyebrow colors and highlighter. Yeah, I mainly use these two in the bottom. I kind of mix them. I use more hot cocoa than chestnut because chestnut feels too light and I feel like hot cocoa is slightly too dark, but I use both of them. I mix both of them. And I have been using the brush that's in here just because I don't have another brush through my eyebrows. I've been meaning to get one, but I keep forgetting. And especially with this, a little goes a long way. There have been times where I have overdone it. Yeah, I think a little goes a long way and I think it's a great product. It stays on all day and I haven't had any problems with it. But the next beauty item is actually a liquid lipstick and I am loving this liquid lipstick trend going on. I think it is great. I love the look of it and so far the only one I've tried is the, the Kylie Lip Kit one. So with this one, I have really been wanting a brown liquid lipstick. Especially because that Snapchat filter with the like glasses, the round ones where you can like see i think it's like california and you see like palm trees and stuff is brown lipstick and i absolutely love that lipstick so i wanted a brown lipstick really bad because of that snapchat filter well that sounds really sad but it's true so i went to sephora and i just went to one of the girls and i was like i need help finding a brown lipstick that would look good with my skin tone so the girl gave me a few colors and this was one of them and i swatched them all on my hands and this is the one i liked best and it is the kat von d bow and arrow one. I just think this is such a gorgeous color. I have worn it and it lasts all day long, kind of the same as the Kylie Lip Kit. And I think this one does tend to kind of wear off easier and I think that's just because darker color. My Kylie Lip Kit is in Candy K and it's more neutral and so this I feel like because it's darker, it just, you can tell that it wore off. With this, it's darker, it's easier to tell that it's worn off rather than a nude color. But either way, it lasts really long. I actually wore it today. Um, I took it off because it was like, getting a little gross. But I wore it today. I went to lunch with my friend. We had Starbucks. I was out all day and it lasts, it lasts a pretty decent amount of time. Yeah, so I really recommend it. I really love it and I can't wait to try more brands of liquid lipstick in the future because so far the ones that I have I've really been loving. And the last beauty favorite is actually another kind of recent buy but I've liked it enough that it's going in this video and it is the Beauty Blender Beauty Sponge. Mine's kind of dirty because I used it today and I haven't washed it yet. So I actually wanted to try the Beauty Blender but I thought it's kind of expensive and I don't know if I'm really gonna like it. So I decided, you know what, I love real techniques and why don't I buy this instead. It's six dollars and I can, you know, try it out. Pretty much the same concept. I heard this one was really good. And if I really like this one that much, I'll go ahead and spend the money and get a beauty blender. And let me tell you, I love this thing. It just makes it so easy to put on makeup. I only use this for foundation and concealer. I really like it. I think it's great. The only kind of downside I have to this is just cleaning it, like the maintenance of it. I prefer brushes rather than this, but I'm still learning. I'm still trying to figure out, you know, what's best best way to clean it and stuff and how often to clean it. But as for like applying makeup, I really like it. I like the finish it gives. It's very smooth. And sometimes with a brush, like it gives you kind of those streaks and this doesn't do that so I really like this. So the next kind of category that I'm going to move on to is fashion. So I only have one fashion favorite and they are these sandals from ASOS. They have metallic like metallic silver here and then like metallic kind of rose gold or gold here. I don't know in some lights it looks rose gold. Right now it's kind of looking more regular old gold. Either way I really like them. They are just so cute and I love them so much. I just wanted something that I could kind of slip on and just go because I do own a lot of sneakers and I love them but sometimes I just want to throw a pair of shoes on and just kind of go if I have to like go on errands or something. I don't really like flip-flops that much and at least the flip-flops that I have are just not good to walk around in like they're just not that nice they do sometimes like in blisters and things so i really only like to wear them and when like i'm going to the pool or going to the beach or something these are just perfect for what i wanted and i actually first saw them in zoe's suggs 
slash Zoella ASOS haul a while ago that she uploaded like two months ago. She had them, but they were like silver here and here. And I thought they were so cute and I wanted them really bad, but they were, I wanna say like expensive, but just kind of, I didn't want to spend the original price on them. But then I went on ASOS and they went on sale for like $20. And so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get them because I've been looking around and I can't find shoes that I love as much as these and they're on sale and I got them and I'm so happy I did because they are just so great <laughs> and I wore them today for the first time like all day I've only been wearing them like here and there like a little bit but today I wore them all day and they didn't really hurt my that much they did hurt a little bit just because they're new and they haven't really been broken in but they didn't really give me a lot of blisters like most of my other sandals do and so that's great. So the next category and the last category is kind of just random. So random things that I have gotten this month that I have been loving. And the first thing I'm going to talk about is a water bottle. This is actually a wellness brand water bottle. I know the popular one is Swell but they are very expensive. But I found this at HomeGoods for like $10 and I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it because supposedly it, you know, keeps your water cold for really long and hot and hot for really long. It's $10. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. I only spent $10 on it. I'm not gonna spend 30 or plus on the swell one. I took it to the gym and let me tell you, this kept my drinks cold all day. I'm not even joking. I left it in the hot car for a few hours and my drink was still freezing cold. These water bottles are great. So the next two things that I'm going to talk about are random but I love them so much and they are the Beauty and the Beast Sum Sums. I think that's how you say it. Not 100% sure. If you guys didn't know, I am obsessed with Disney and Beauty and the Beast is my favorite Disney movie. Belle is my favorite princess. The Beast or Prince Adam is my favorite prince and so of course, when this collection got released, I had to get them and I ordered them off of the Disney store. They do sell them at the Disney store, but I just ordered them online. They are so cute. I have another Zoom Zoom. I have a Minnie Mouse and I think she's adorable. I don't collect them or anything. I just buy the ones that I think are really adorable. I, I needed these so much because I love Beauty and the Beast. They're just so cute. So the next thing, I love it so much makes me so emotional and it is me before you this movie <laughs> i just mm, i love this movie i read the book in july saw the movie for the first time in august and let me tell you i am just i'm just in love with it like the book is just so good the movie was just as amazing and it did make me cry not even kidding every time i listen to the soundtrack i cry but this movie is just so good if you haven't seen it i highly recommend it it came out on dvd august 30th i pre-ordered it so i got a little early it is just so so good and if you haven't seen it i highly recommend it and i do highly 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 recommend reading the book because the book is just so amazing and there's things in the book it's not a movie i have a whole review on it i'll just leave a link to that down below so i don't ramble on but definitely an august favorite and i can tell you right now it will be a yearly favorite so the second to last thing i'm going to talk about is a planner and i know why a planner well this is not just a regular planner this is my youtube planner i found it at home goods find a lot of things at home goods great store you should you should go there only a like calendar spread so every month it's just a calendar and so i thought why not get it for youtube in here i just have it like each day i put you know in one color when i'm gonna upload a video and then in another color when i'm gonna film edit upload and it just really makes me organized the last thing that i'm gonna talk about is actually a food it is the that's it bar i keep calling it a granola bar but it's not a granola bar it's literally just one apple and one mango they come in all different sorts of fruits they have strawberry, cherry, blueberry, forget what else, but the mango one is my favorite. I've also tried the cherry and strawberry. Cherry is okay. Strawberry, I would definitely buy again, but the mango is the best one. I think comparing it like the texture to kind of like like a healthy gummy, like I love gummy candies and it's kind of, it, it's chewy and I don't, I don't really know how to explain it, but it's, it's kind of like chewy and I, I can I think of it as like a healthy gummy. It's so good and it is only a hundred calories. I know I really like it. These are like my new favorite granola bars and I 
been taking them everywhere. I know you can get them at Target and Trader Joe's. So actually, I lied. <laughs> there are two more things that I'm going to talk about and they are songs. So my two favorite songs for this month have been Tears by Clean Bandit featuring Louisa Johnson. This song is so good. I love it so much. I first heard it in July. Actually, oh, again, <laughs> mentioning that for the third time in this video, but Zoe and Alfie put it in their one of their vlogs in July. I was actually in London at the time when I was watching it, and so I first heard it there, and I was like, oh, this, this is a good song. I, I like, and then later on in the week, we were just like shopping, walking around, and I heard it in one of the shops in London, and I was like, this is good. I really like it. So when I got home, I downloaded it, and I really love it it's so good and it's it, i just love this song so much like i can't i don't even know why it's just i love the beat and it's it's, it's a great song the second song that i've been loving is closer by the chain smokers and halsey on radio all the time i'm sure you guys have heard it it is just great my friend and i are doing a lot of carpool karaoke with this song and we are loving it so i hope you enjoyed this video these are all my favorite things from this month please subscribe to my channel if you like my videos i upload every single tuesday and sometimes i'll throw in like a random video here and there on thursdays but yeah thank you for watching